Hello and welcome. This week I bring you some more portraits. For this first one I use the exact same approach as the ones I did last week. While I was working on it, it felt a little bit weird that I had so much extra time to play around with the coloring, but then towards the end I noticed why. At first I thought, hey, I'm already getting better at this. And then I noticed the difference in proportions between the photo and the sketch and thought, oh, it's because I didn't spend enough time on the sketch. Towards the end of the video you'll see me try to fix it a little bit with the liquify filter, but it would have been better if I had made the sketch correctly from the start. On a more positive note, I'm pretty pleased with how the colors turned out. Here's the final result after an hour, and now you'll see me overcompensate in the next one. First of all, I finally realized that being left-handed I should have my reference on the right so I don't have my arm on top of it all the time. And with this turned looking gentleman I spent a lot more time working on the sketch. So much so that when I was finally finished and ready to start painting colors, I had almost no time left. So I decided to quickly throw in some values at least. So I guess we should call this one a value study rather than a portrait. And as a beginner doing those is also very beneficial. You could say there's a lot of value in value studies. Or maybe you're a well-adjusted human being and don't like dad humor. In any case, I'm pretty pleased with how this one turned out. Here's the end result, but not the end of my adventures with this stern-looking gentleman. I decided to give this one an extra hour of work. Since I did the values in a hurry, I forgot to do them on their own layer, so I had to try a different approach to add the colors. I painted them with low opacity on top of the value sketch, I think that's called the glazing. I actually enjoyed working this way quite a bit and I will explore it more in the future. It felt a bit easier since the value information was already on the canvas and that's one less thing to think about. Still at one point I had to duplicate the color layer to increase the overall saturation. I think this is my best result so far understandable since I spent double the time on it, and it has given me some ideas to think about for future episodes. I think I learned enough just from coloring the face, so I'm leaving this one as is and going on to the next one. This time I wanted to try the Loomis method for sketching the head. And I finished the sketch much quicker than with the gentleman and still it was pretty okay in terms of uh, likeness and proportions. But I went back to my original workflow when working on the colors and that aspect didn't turn out so good. So for this week I want to see if I can cram sketch, value and then color into a one hour workflow. Even though I was happy with the sketch at the time, now I can see that the angle is a little bit wonky and the eyes look weird. Hindsight is 2020, I guess. In any case, I think all my work from this week looks better than last week's work, so I think I'm making progress at least. And here it is my portrait of an alien trying to pass as a human being. I plan on redoing all these portraits whenever my workflow is a little bit more defined and I have a bit more experience. 
but that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you have a very good week. Thank you for watching and see you next week.